All right. I wanted to ask you, um, what was the inspiration behind your podcasts? Because I know you have a few of them. You have had a few of them. You've started a few of them. Um, what are some of those podcasts that you've done and what was the inspiration behind them? Well, my first podcast started my junior year. And it was called, yeah, junior year. It was called The Undergraduate. And that one came out of, I was seeing a lot of YouTubers that I was following online starting up their own podcasts and just talking about their lives. And I was like, well, I'm not that interesting. Like where I can just be like, I had a quinoa salad from Sweet Green today. I give it a <laughs> nine out of ten. Like, I can't do that. And it was really annoying yeah. to me how like personal they were getting. And I was like, listen, buddy, like I don't care how bad your date was, but I like I like you as a person when you're doing your YouTube thing. And so I was like, I want to yeah. take like the storytelling part that they do on YouTube and just kind of bring it over to the podcast space where I'm able just to talk about my experiences and like give tips and so that's what the undergraduate started as my first podcast was just it was like four or five episodes of just like how I wrote my resume and finding jobs and just like kind of like basic college things like that but I kind of fell out of it because I was tired of recording in my closet in my dorm <laughs> that's that's <laughs> why I stopped that one I was just so <laughs> tired of being cramped in my dorm and then I started one up in Hong Kong again because I was like looking at the undergraduate and I was like I want to do this again but I think I can do it better like it was a little bit basic so I remember when I was in the building in between classes I like threw together a, the out of order logo on Illustrator and yeah. I just recorded it in my little Hong Kong closet of a dorm room <laughs> on my Lovely. desk that's awesome you created podcasts from so many like places in the world you know? <laughs> that's cool yeah just all over the place podcasting everywhere and then when i yeah. came back to savannah austin was like let's do a collab just one episode <laughs> but it didn't turn into a whole separate po podcast <laughs> that one i think has been the most successful because austin and i really have this great dynamic flow like you and i where we just really play well off each other you do it was so nice and i feel like what Austin has is that you like not only you have a flow, but Austin sometimes will say something that's so fucking out of comp like nothing to do with anything, <laughs> and it just it's so funny and entertaining because I love the way I, I love the way you guys think. I love the way you guys process thoughts. It's not the usual way, you know. And uh, what I'm trying to do with this kind of thought conversations as well is not like okay, get people that are copywriters, but get them to talk about other shit than writing, you know, because that's where the interesting side is. So I, w I was wondering, what was out of all this podcast? You were t wait, you you started out with the first one, which is the an undergraduate, and then it was out of order, and then it was unapologetically out of order, which was the collab you did with Austin, right? Mm -hmm. Um, after that came Empaths, and uh, what was what was the name of the last one? Because I always call it Empaths. No, it. it's <laughs> Empaths and Escapists. Yeah, Empath and Escapist. Was that straight? Th that was the jump to it, or was there any other podcast in the middle? Nope, that was just a straight jump. Um, I've been paying. I've had this phrase that I had for a while, and it, that was the original name of Empaths and Escapists. But then my boyfriend was like, "Oh man, I want to do one," and he's a bartender, and the name right. just kind of fit him better. So eventually, he's going to make a podcast and take the name that I came up with. But it's called Mixed Drinks and Mixed Emotions. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool name. Nice. It's it's a nice thing that you gave it to him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. So his his podcast that we've been concepting is just basically he's going to be recording in the kitchen, just like mixing up drinks for different people and just having candid conversations about, with his friends about life and how they feel about everything. That's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> I, I I think that you know he's combining what he loves the most and also having a podcast about it. I feel like those are the most genuine kind of conversations. And I feel like we had a similar conversation on empaths and escapists with you. Uh, what is the what is the focus of that podcast in 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 particular? Like what are you what are your goals with that podcast? Everyone really liked, especially with um unapologetically unapologetically out of order, was how candid we were and how just kind of brutally honest. Yeah, And I realized I was filtering myself in the past a lot. Like 
I put on the radio voice and I just tried to put like a bright and sunny filter and everything. And I was like, yeah. no, this, I want to get really candid and break down and just be like, these are my emotions. These are my daydreams. Let me hear about yours. Like, just like, let's just kind of get dreamy together and like think about what our lives could be. That's yeah. kind of what I want empaths and escapists to be. That's cool. That's, I, I, I definitely felt that the, um, when I came on to it, we started off with, okay, how can we help out these people um, get a bit more motivation and self-motivate? And we ended up with discovering a lot of other things and breakthroughs. And not only did I, do I think I could, people have a lot to learn from that podcast, but I also feel like you're learning a lot from that podcast. And I know that you've also dealt with like the fact that maybe people were not listening so much to it and or maybe not getting the amount of listens that you wanted to. 